cardboard. What are you gonna do? It's like cardboard. It does taste like cardboard. <laughs> it's right here. It's like cardboard. <laughs> Hey guys, what do you want to try, buddy? Want to try the wings? Sure. Definitely want to try the New York steak. A uh, French dip as well. Yeah. What's your favorite drink? I see the, the sneak pitch, and there's another one. Jolly Ranchers are the popular one. Okay. Should we try one of each? See if we yeah, like them. I'm down mm -hmm. with that. All right. Who wants to eat a sandwich like this? It's not melted for shit. Did you serve it? Ricardo brought it up to me. Like I already knew, no one wants to eat it. I don't. Why is everybody so freaked out? Guys, no, they don't want to eat this. It's not melted enough. They need it melted. Let's make it again. Make a new one. It's bullshit, man. All right. I'm pissed. Well, you seem flustered, but it's not funny, bro. I'm very frustrated. When I partnered up with Chris, Crystal was the kitchen manager that Chris already had here in place. But she's not cutting it, man. It's a grill. She's something so simple. My kid can do it. All right, that's the New York steak. Oh, um, right. OK. And that's the French dip that's very popular here. Yep. All right. We should probably toast before we eat this. Yeah. Because we may never live to Absolutely. toast again. It was good knowing you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, man. OK, what's in this? <laughs> John, I can't lie, man. I think I'm drunk. Oh, my god. I was expecting a completely different taste. And it was just mostly alcohol. And at that point, I can be drunk really quickly. Does that look good to you? I think they could have brought in just a live cow and put it on the table, and I think it would have been about in the same area. Look at this pain. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't recommend the food. You don't? You don't recommend the How food? How come? What did you have? So it was sort of like this one. You got to Oh, come on, John. <laughs> I mean, look at this. This is not what a French dip is. <laughs> you gotta stop this. <laughs> Got the wings here? Yeah, I want to tell you now, John. I'm serious about my wings. I'm very serious about my wings. If these wings are wrong, we may have to leave. <laughs> well, let's see what you got, man. Let's see what you get. Man, I don't know how they're going to spin that. The wings came undercooked. The skin was rubbery. It wasn't breaking off. It wasn't a pleasant thing to have in your hand. Can I ask you yep. a question? Sure. Is there a cook or a kitchen manager or somebody? I do, yeah. Let me take that to show then and... No, leave this here mm -hmm. and have him come up. Okay. Sure, I'll be right back. Yeah, that'll, be, that'll be the better part. Ricardo. Yes, sir. A table's looking for you. What table? And it's that guy. The guy? That guy. How you doing? Not too bad. Would you want to eat that? No, sir. Would you want to eat that? No, sir. Why not? It doesn't look appealing. It doesn't look appetizing. Where's Chris, the owner? Is the owner here? Yes, he's here. This is not the experience I wanted John to have tonight. See, this is embarrassing. Why? He's there, bro. Huh? He's sitting right there. Who is? John Taffer. Where? Are you serious, Chris? <laughs> really? Are you that movie? <laughs> oh, my god. Oh, crap. Here we go. My heart just kind of sank. It was literally just waiting for the explosion to go off. In the middle, bro. Oh, shit. Not good? Holy shit. Been walking around all night and I didn't see him. Welcome to our very quiet bar. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, crap. Hey, John. How are you? Yeah. This is T-Pain, good friend of mine, hey, by the way. Right? Very nice to meet you. Nice T-Pain comes here, what is a steak? I order a French dip. Then we got to eat the wings. Look at this. Yeah. No crisp, rubbery. It's not cooked right. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that sandwich. You're fighting with that thing. It's like a piece of leather. So let me ask you a question. Should she pay for that? No. OK, so how was that food at that table down there? Was that good? No. OK, so we're on a roll here. No. So. Shit. This Stop food it. was terrible? OK, so should she eat this? No. Top the table. Let's move on down here. How about your food? Was this good? Yeah. It was terrible. Top this meal. OK, let's keep going, guys. We're on a roll. How was this food? Not good. So look at this one. Let's top this one, too. You're going to top every one of these meals. It's your failure, not theirs. Buy their freaking dinner. Let's get out of here, Penny. It's a tavern. 
So we got three bartenders. You see a cook anywhere? I don't see a cook anywhere. Does this make any sense to you, Phil? No, it, it makes absolutely no sense. If there's a kitchen, there needs to be a cook. So we got a refrigerator to the right, but yet they have to have food by Utah law. Mm. Our opinions are pretty well established. This is yeah. unbelievably disconnected. <laughs> We do uh, order the wings, the tenders, and the wedges. And there is a very small, almost residential deep fryer. Right, something that you can have in your own kitchen at home. But a deep fryer like that, you put more than six or seven wings in that thing, the temperature drops right away. Right. You can't cook in a commercial environment with that thing, Phil. No way. You see any gloves anywhere? I see zero gloves. I was just about to say that. So is a bartender trained in kitchen sanitation? Come on. This is a completely different discipline. Bartenders make drinks. Sure. Kitchen personnel are trained to run a kitchen. Do you think that she has any idea how to work in a kitchen? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. And where the hell is Brandon in all of this? It looks like he's still screwing around in his office. I mean, that's just absolutely insane. Yeah. Are your wings? I'm going to dive into this little guy right here. Look at his face. <laughs> super, 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 super. Phil, the food is absolutely terrible. There's not enough customers in here. Right. We're not going to learn much about the bartenders watching this. Oh, yeah, I'll, this? Take a, I'll take it. Oh, that's not very good. Greasy. Yeah, now check your fingers after that. How about this? <laughs> that you want to eat that? Okay. What the hell is this? Is this supposed to be chicken? That's a sponge. Where is Brandon? Brandon, come over here. Would you want to eat this? No. No, so let's get rid of that. Let me ask you this, would you want to eat this? No. Let's get rid of that. How about drinking this? Was this any good? Let's get rid of that. Was this any good? You see, this bar is such a shithole, I can be spilling stuff all night, and it really doesn't freaking matter, does it? There's Amaya, she's your cook. Thank you. There's Christella. Butter, butter, butter. Cook. So we have Noelle, who's a part-time manager and the daughter of Bill. Do you know table numbers? Because that's how I do everything. Um, no, that'd be great. They, um, so those are the 60s? 11s. This so is the 60s. 10s to 60s. Yeah. Gotcha. Look at those chicken wings. Aren't they all supposed to be one color? One side shouldn't be darker than the other. Now, should it, Chef? That could be the frost bit part of the chicken burning quicker than the rest of the bird. John, just looking at this, there's not a leader, there's not a manager, there's nobody teaching them, and this is kind of like, shit. Now they're not going to notice. Send it out anyways, right? Yeah. Look at the pole. <laughs> Look at the pole. <laughs> How is she eating that? Oh! No! Look at the long chew. Still chewing. It's not a bubblegum commercial. Still here, chewing. Right? We should have had a swallow if it was a decent wing. No swallow. Still chewing. Then the forced swallow. Oh. I don't have to taste that chicken wing to know it sucks. Do you see any cooking equipment? I don't. All there is is the cheap, tiny little yeah. deep fryer. This is a big space. So they got that big bar and the big nightclub. And that's the only piece of cooking equipment. So Jason, what would happen if they ordered three items at the same time? They'd have to make them one at a time and people would be waiting a very long time for their food. Oh, These chicken wings, it looks like in a, in a pail and he's swirling around and one wing just flipped up onto the floor. I think these are gonna be Amy's wings too. Well, I guess wings are supposed to fly, right? Yeah. So <laughs> Now we have nachos. I can look at this food and tell that in the kitchen, they don't give a damn. What are they doing, chef? I, you would think they're splitting the atom with how much work they're putting into this. Look at the cutting board, chef. Cutting board, no gloves. There's raw chicken on his cutting board with his knife, with All his All over towel. his hands. All over the handle. Oh my god. I'm curious where his hands go next. So he's touching chips now with his raw chicken and beef hands. Covered in chicken. And this is all happening right in front of DJ. Oh, man. OK, now he's got chicken all uh, over everything. This is actually yours, so your chicken nachos. Chicken nachos? Uh-huh. 
He's sending out raw food with her. We gotta stop this, chef. In all my years, I've rarely seen such gross negligence as I see in this kitchen. I'm gonna go in and give BJ a few choice words. Stop! I would not eat that. There's raw chicken all over this. There's raw chicken all over this. There might be raw chicken on your glasses. Let's go check, chef. Where's DJ? Are you DJ? OK, so this guy is taking raw meat all over your hands, right? With raw meat all over your hands, he goes and touches the handle of this. The container's over there. This kitchen is covered in raw chicken and raw meat, and you don't have a fucking clue what you're doing, and you're watching them. How the f does that happen right in front of you? I'm so glad I'm not DJ right now. Why, is he getting his ass handed to him? Can I go see two? Clean your freaking kitchen, and I will come back here tomorrow, and I will teach you how to win. It's like being eight and having your dad come home and whoop your ass after you've been messing up at school. I mean, it's, it's, I don't feel good at all right now. And there's Mike the chef. Interesting chef, so they grill the onions and they really just put a slice of cheese yeah. and some grilled onion on top of the burger. That's it. Now, that's okay if that's the burger that sure. they make. If it's sure. a delicious burger, that's a nice, simple, it could yeah. be delicious. Mm -hmm. Season it properly, I'd eat it. But see any gloves on those hands? No gloves. Raw meat all over his hands. Yep, so let's see where he goes with those hands now that there's raw meat all over him. Okay, now he's, let's see, now he's gonna oh. pick up the utensil. Oh, there we go. Yeah. From the raw meat to the utensil, okay, so that protein is now all over the handle of the knife and it's all over bread. the bread. Oh. Ew. This is a completely cross-contaminated kitchen. Mm -hmm. You want the prime dip? Yeah, that's prime rib dip. That's what she was recommending. Okay. Yeah, it's really good here. I like the half rack of rib. Half rack, half rack? Okay. So, John, I'm just a little confused about Reva. She's not helping anything. No. So either she doesn't know me or she doesn't care. Exactly. She almost seems a little intimidated. OK, so these are the ribs. When were these made? My goodness. What is the date on these? These are like petrified. No date, no label. Is that mold on those ribs? Ew! That is so Ew. scary. They're like boiled. That's the, that's a silverware caddy. That is a utensil holder. There's meat in there. Oh, that's the oh. prime rib. Oh God. Oh, that is disgusting. Chef, he can't eat this food. That is no. not servable at all. So we need to find out when that was made. We can't let Justin eat this food. Go in, find out when this is made. Stop this, OK? Right. Yeah, I got it. Bring those here. Hey, I'm one of John's experts, and we were just watching you. Hold on, keep that right there, huh? Excuse me for one second. Oh my God! What, what is this? You know this is here. And you're serving this shit? Are you kidding me? I haven't been to work in, in three days, okay? I mean, Mike doesn't even understand what the hell Jason is saying. What are you, what are you? Look at this. I want Reva to see this. Okay. She's the one who needs to see this. I'll be back. All right. I would not let them bring your food out. If you ate that food, you would have gotten sick. We stopped it in the kitchen. We're dealing with this now. Reva, Linda, mm -hmm. nice to meet you both. Come with me. Ask me, why are you mad, John? Ask me. Why are you mad, John? Because you're going to kill somebody. That's why. This guy makes hamburgers with his hands. Then he comes and picks up this knife. Now there's raw meat all over the knife. Rubs his hand on this. There's raw meat all over this. Touches the buns. Cuts them with his hand. Raw meat all over everything in this kitchen. This place is completely cross-contaminated. He's responsible in this kitchen. But you're the owner, Reva. You're responsible for him. It's completely illegal. Do you understand that? I'm not going to kill nobody. Yes, you are. Did you put on gloves? Did you wash your hands once? Look at you. One time. Look at you. I did. I've been watching you for a half hour. This man 
should not be in here if he doesn't know what he's doing, and he does not know what he's doing. You're such a dick. Let me ask you a question. Are you supposed to wash your hands after you touch raw meat? Yeah. Did you? Yes. You did not. Look on the fucking camera. You bitch. did. I will show you tomorrow. Look on the You're camera. a fucking liar. You're gonna kill somebody. Cheers. Cheers. This tastes really it looks sour. This. What's wrong with it? Tastes like a hot dog. Dog with extra, extra, extra ketchup. I think he's basically got a straw in a ketchup bottle right now. I think we're gonna do the grilled chicken sandwich and the steak burger to begin. Oh. What the hell is, what is that? that? He's searing. He's searing on that grill. What is that sauce? Now she just ordered a grilled chicken sandwich. She didn't order a chicken parmesan. It was a grilled chicken sandwich. So I wonder what. That would be on a grilled chicken sandwich. John, I couldn't tell you what that is, and I'm pretty much good with telling you what things are. That suck, I can't wait to see you bite into that chicken sandwich. Cardboard. It's like cardboard. It's like right here. It's like cardboard. I'm not gonna eat it. I don't think she's sure it's a chicken sandwich. I think we're gonna do some tacos then, and um, I want that with the cornbread. Yeah, we've heard that outside. Side of cornbread? Yeah, side of cornbread with it. So where's Phil right now, I wonder? Well, that's where Phil is, John. He's playing some pool. So Phil is oblivious to everything going on. Thank yes. you. I'm excited for the cornbread. This place is weird. <laughs> Horrible. Uh, there it goes. I love food, and this is not good. She can't win right now. <laughs> Everything she touches, she doesn't want. Oh, despises at that. I want to find out exactly what's wrong with that food and how this can be that bad. Guys, I'm going to go in. I'll see you later. Go get them. These are two friends of mine. Okay. They're radio station celebrities. Hi. Okay. Joe, you could pack this place if you wanted to, couldn't you? 100%. There's nothing here that they could eat, nothing here that they could drink, mm -hmm. and you came here trying, didn't okay. you? Now, wait a minute. Sean, what is this? Because I'm going to say something. What is this? Because I'm going to say something. What is this? Sean, I want you to shut up and listen for a minute, okay? That's the deal. I talk, you listen. Because right now, you're standing on thin and <laughs> ice. Sean, no, look at him. He's like, he knows he done f***ed up now. When she orders cornbread, is this what she's expecting? I don't know. Corn. Smell this for me. It doesn't smell right. I think you're an idiot. OK, let's move over to the burger. May I please? This, they each took one bite. That was f***ing inedible, too. I would, I don't know. I guess I haven't looked at the burger to see what's going on with them. So they might be wrong. Did this meet the expectations of your guests? No, it didn't. OK. Did this meet the expectation of your guests? Obviously not. OK. Did this meet the expectation of your guest? Obviously not. Hey, no. so we blew that one, too. What about this? Did this meet the expectation of your guest? Didn't meet the expectation. OK, so let me ask you this. How is the Bloody Mary? It tasted like a hot dog with extra, extra kids. That Thank didn't you. work either. So that didn't meet the expectation of your guest. And this guy's losing his life over this. And this is your effort? Really? Mm. What do you come here to do every day? Because this can't be your result. This can't be you at your best. Please tell me this is not you at your best. Mm. When we have a cook that is not paying attention, and obviously Let's get the cook I need out to here. pay. Mo, That's come on out, please. Yeah, Would you get Mo to come out here for a minute? I'm John. Oh, hey, nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Who's being me? Let up? me ask you a question. Whose recipes are these? It's all Sean. All Sean's recipe. Mm, the Because he just blamed this on you. You you taught me how to make it, right? Okay, they, I did everything I, you told me to do. And this guy goes to blame it on him. He's the guy who's trying to do what he's told in a good way. And I watch you in the kitchen, you're trying. But you have no leadership, do you? No consistency. So what the f are you managing? You didn't manage this. You're not managing them. You certainly didn't manage the drinks. What the f are you doing here? Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.